Welcome back to Ghana Team. It's your girl Tracy with today's segment. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notification button to get more training updates from us. Judges on Fed's laying salary. Don't give room for speculation on public interest cases. NDC MP to Supreme Court. Dr. Clement Appa, member of parliament for Bilsa South, has expressed concerns over the delayed judgments by the Supreme Court regarding the payment of salaries to the first and second ladies of Ghana. According to Dr. Clement, the court should avoid giving room for speculation on cases of significant public interest. Mr. Appal is on the saying that the salaries for the first ladies and the second lady. So there's no judgment on this. The court shouldn't, shouldn't bring about problems because the public is open. And when the court is not able to deal with these issues, when public gets to find it, it will become a problem for Ghana. The Supreme Court was initially expected to be, deliver its judgment on January 25th, 2023, according to the controversial issues of salaries for the first and second ladies of Ghana. However, as of June 2023, no judgment has been made, promoting, prompting Mr. Clements to question the reason behind the delay. The salaries of the first ladies up to now, they are no, we don't know how the court is going to give us updates on it. Up to now, the court has not come out with tangible reasons why it has been delayed. Mr. Clements is also asking, why are they being delayed? Because we really want to know if they should pay their salaries or not. Mr. Clements emphasized that cases on enormous public interest such as these require timely resolution to prevent speculation and maintain transparency in judicial processes. Mr. Clements is on the view that when cases like this from the public session, when it delays, it helps prevent speculation and maintain transparency in judicial process. He believes that why is it that the court hasn't come out or the Supreme Court hasn't come out with the vendors now? Because the delay is going to really worry. He feels when these issues are solved early, it will stop all these talks or all these bad saying about it. Keep bringing in your comments, like and share. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe. Turn on the notification button to get more trending updates from us. Our SC must try not to give room for speculation regarding cases of public interest. The FC was to deliver judgment on your challenge of payment of salaries to first and second lady on January 25, 2023. We are in June, but still no judgment. Why? He said in a Twitter post on June, June 1st, 2023. This issue is further, is further the first lady and second lady should receive salaries have been subjects of debate in Ghana. While some argue that providing financial compensation to this position would acknowledge their public roles and contribute others have raised concerns about their potential financial burden on the state and the lack of constitutional basis for such payments. People are also on the view that why should we pay um, the first lady and the second lady? What at all are they doing for Ghanaians? What are they bringing to the table? And it's our taxes we used to pay them. They are, they are disagreeing that the first lady and the second lady should be paid because it is our working salary. Do you think the first lady and the second lady are supposed to be paid? Do you think it's best for the government to use our taxes to pay them? Keep bringing in your comments, like and share. This statement by Dr. Clement addressing this thing has brought about many controversies. People have come out to say it is none of his business. Whatever the Supreme Court decides to do is none of his business. He has no view or he has no position to even people talk about this because he's not the one who took it to court or he's not the one, he's not the main person about this. So why is he talking about it? Rather, he's the one drawing the attention of the public because he's the one raising these topics. Salaries of the first lady and the second lady has nothing to do with Ghanaians. It's basically for them. What, whatever the courts decide is up to them. So Mr. Clement should also stop saying all these things because it's not really going to help Ghana as a whole. Do you think what Mr. Clement is saying is going to help Ghanaians? Or do you think Mr. Clement drawing Ghanaians' attention to this is going to really bring major problems to the courts or to the government? Keep bringing in your comments, like and share. Again, Mr. Clement is also questioning the Supreme Court. Why is it that this is taking long periods? Because he feels it's been a while. Why can't they just do something about it? 
because the more we wait on it, the more it sparks rumors. He's on the view that the court is not going to help us because the court is under or is being influenced by another party to hold on, on to this because he feels maybe the court heads are in favor and they don't really want to come out to tell us because when they come out to tell us, Ghanaians won't be happy. And people will keep and people will keep fighting each other because they feel it is their working money or it is their taxes being taken from us that the first lady and the second lady are being paid for. So Mr. Mr. Clement is also asking these questions. He's asking the Supreme Court why is someone paying you guys or someone is stopping you guys to bring bring a final final decision on these salaries? What are your take on this? Keep bringing in your comments, like and share. Mr. Clement is not happy with the Supreme Court. He's going against them because he feel when someone brings a case to the court, you should check and go away with it. It shouldn't be for a long period of time. January 25th to now, and you, have, you are not able to talk about this. What at all is the Supreme Court hiding? Or what at all is the first lady and the second lady hiding? That is why the Supreme Court cannot bring about judgment. Mr. Clement is not happy. He's seeking advices. Though he's trying to know what is really worrying the Supreme Court or what is really the problem, that is why the Supreme Court hasn't brought about any judgment. People are not happy. MPP are not happy because they feel this is also a problem. This is going to be a problem because you are drawing the public's attention. And you know NDC is against that. So anything, any little thing you bring that is not in favor of us, they will hold strongly on it and talk about and uh, people will not be happy and Ghanaians will go against that. So they are begging Mr. Clements to let this thing go. Whatever the Supreme Court decides is, is for the Supreme Court. He will be noted in part. He will be noted privately, so he should stop all this, or he shouldn't go into the media, or he shouldn't go to social media, like Facebook, Twitter, and all that, to keep commenting about these things. Supreme Court cases are not for him. He should, he should, he should mind his own business, or he shouldn't really talk about these matters when it comes to salaries, or when it comes to concerns regarding the first lady and the second lady. MPP are not really happy with him. Keep bringing in your comments, like and share. Do you think what Mr. Clements had some tangible reason for the court to answer us? What are your takes on this? Keep bringing in your comments. Again, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to turn on the notification button to get more trending and fresh related news from us. It's your girl, Chasey. i